the remarkable thing is the speed at which renewable energy is taking over. Um, the uh, wind turbines are now aiming for 10 megawatts each for offshore. Um, that's a huge growth in 20 years from sort of 600 kilowatts to uh, 10 megawatts. It's, it's a large uh, electricity uh, producing uh, entity. And uh, solar is, of course, coming. The US, uh, China, Japan, large industrial entities are um, in what I would call the Sun Belt. So they can develop solar, short travel energy, roof to batteries, to batteries in cars. And so that, that's one side. The other side is Europe, which lies much further to the north, and where we are really then dependent on sol solar energy in the south of Europe, and wind to a larger extent in the north. And we here in Norway have the ability to be the, <coughs> to be the storage of electricity, because we have all our reservoirs high up on a plateau, and so we can pump up with wind and, and drop the water down. There is a uh, power play between coal, oil, gas, hydro, wind, solar, and using less, conserving. So, there's a period now where there's going to be a lot of gyrations and a lot of things happening. But I think the driver will have to be uh, like China, like India. I mean, imagine not being able to drink the water and not be able to breathe the air. And it means that the president of China is as affected as anybody else if he wants to go outdoors. How far ahead do we have to look before we see wind energy really becoming uh, a, a major, if not a majority, supplier of, of electricity? It's happening as we speak. And you, when you go up to 10 megawatts, the cost of energy is going down fast. Just that. And solar from the roof down to when batteries become as common as refrigerators in every home, and you have the battery in the car, and you switch back and forth. The real joke, I think, now is the, uh, the huge solar farms in Nevada, which are already looked upon as old technology because of the cost of transportation. So things are um, moving at an incredible pace. And um, so there is hope, but it's very late, very late.